Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as X X Con Cladoloyan. Basically, Moctezuma. He's insane. The harshest son of Tlaloc. Moctezuma was conceived as a response to the Itzen and its Lani threats to the south. These alien societies have flourished in the ashes of the old world and threatened to win the hearts and minds of uppity citizens who want something more from life than robot and alien, if benevolent machine. Moctezuma was Tlaloc's response, forged with the goal of preserving Mexican culture from the alien ideals of the New World. Moctezuma's subjects learn Nahual uh, poetry and study Frida Kahlo's artworks. They love flowers and they love war. But the death of Big Daddy. God is laggy. All the earth is a grave, huh? Moctezuma was the youngest Tlaloc's sons, created to handle resource processing for the southern part of his domains and uh, handle defenses against the Atzlan. Perversely, the personality for the reason is inspired by the great Aztec leader Moctezuma I and seeks to restore the empire to its past glories and then the old ways for a new world. Moctezuma rapidly concluded that the situation in Mexico in the 23rd century resembled 15th century uh, Mexico. Accordingly, the best government would be one model on the Aztec Empire. All the earth is a grave and nothing escapes it. Nothing is so perfect that it does not descend to its tomb. Or tome. Rivers. Uh, rivulets, fountains, and waters flow but never return to their joyful beginnings. As they hasten in the vast realms of the rain god, they also fashion the sad urn of the burial. Vanished are these glories. Nothing recalls them but the written page. Well, as much as I want to build more, we're going to need some heavies. We're going to need a lot of heavies. Vanish are the glories. And then we have 92% stability, which is pretty good. Oh, what do we want next? The Jaguar Knights. Flower Wars. Yeah, I'm going to war. Flower Wars were fought between or by the Aztecs to glorify the Empire, extra tribute, and to bring slaves to sacrifice. A few Flower Wars against Moctezuma's neighbors would serve to bloody the troops and rather the people to their master. To the god of war, Kratos, no. He who acts on high follows his own path. Oh, marvelous dweller among the clouds. Oh, dweller in the region of the frozen wing, wi uh, wings. He causes the walls of fire to fall down, where the feathers are gathered. Eager for war, the flaming one descends. He rages when the whirling dust arises. Come to our aid. There's war, and then there's burning. We get an arms workshop. Um, uh, we can always get more army XP. Arms workshop. Yeah, we want to produce as much as, fa as fast as possible. Crush Nuevo Atlan Square territories. Um, well, we don't want to fight him immediately yet. I want to go to war with Petro Chico. Make offerings to the Aztecs. Gods of the Aztecs. Eagle Warriors. Uh, you get daily air XP, which I do like. We'll get more population. The Telpochcali. To lock and educate the children of Mexico, but the Aztec Empire sent all its youth, boys and girls, to the Telpochcali, or the House of the Young. Moctezuma can revive these schools uh, to teach all his children the glory of Mexico and the skills for war. But as you can see, we made sure to lock died early on and couldn't do anything about it. So we're going to go to war with these guys. We're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Old World Blues Tech Expanded, because I love that mod now. Um, it's a mod for this uh, game. And, uh, and fast justification. I, I just, I'm so used to using fast justification now, but... The Flower Wars. Where are you going? Where are you going? To war the sacred water. There is our mother flying obsidian and kills men on the battlefield. The dust raises. Uh, arises on the pools of flame. The heart of the sun god is wounded. Oh, Omeklaki, oh, Makul, Malinali. War is like a flower. You're going to hold it in your hands. Nice. Unlocks the Flower Wars. So, I'll test them against these guys. Sacred crazy flowers. Flowers of bonfires um, are ornament war flowers. So we could raid them for 50 PP against Petro Chico. Can I stage a new incident against these guys? Act for 30 days. The effect of the decision depends on how the remnants react to a raid. Well, you know, we, we can try it. Before we go to war with them, we can try it. Why not? <coughs> and apparently, you can't raid more than two people at once. Go figure. Uh, the Kalmakak. The house of the empire can send their children to the Kalmakakas, the houses of lineage. These children will be Moctezuma's adjutants in the land of the fifth sun. Combat language, nice. More encryption, yes. Um, eagle warriors. The heirs of the Mexico will take to the skies under the leadership of the eagle warriors. Oh, that'll be good, because I want the daily army XP. Or air XP, I should really say. Uh, ooh, better production cost is always good, too. Recognize the beast for more political power. So we're going to race down here, and then we're going to race down this way. We could go other ways, but, you know, whatever. Um, cool. Do we get a research slot? No, we already have quite a few. We already have five research slots, actually. Um, so we'll do that one next. So, we got one day left. 
a challenge to our raid. Heart have no fright, they're, they're on the battlefield. I cannot wait to die by the blade of a sharp obsidian. Like mine, like a Minecraft. Our hearts want nothing but a war death. Oh, uh, we could try it. There you go. Um, you are actually a field marshal. So we're going to give you tank, behemoth, infantry, more attack. And I guess you can be inspirational too. <clears throat> so we just got to wait till they actually show up. Hopefully they can't pierce us. And you have half damage. Nice. That's good. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Order of St. George. Yay! Victory in the Flower War. How do they fall? How do they fall? These hearts, ripe fruit for a harvest. Look at them. These fall the hearts. Remove no progress in decrypted defenses. The heart. These fall the hearts. We get the 50 political power back. We get some basic pipe weaponry, basic melee weaponry, support equipment, and a whole city. Nice. Time to kill them for real. <clears throat> also, we did start off with three infantry divisions, Guardia, but I didn't even use them yet, so stonks. Nice. Beautiful, my friends. Um, we go to war with them. Can we get at least woke up army? I like every cap for the army, though. I might just wait. Military theorist. Um, hmm. This is obviously the better one to choose. And this is the one I would normally choose, so let's choose this one. Just to be a little bit different. And we need to go to war by the 16th. So, when are you going to be back? I want to wait for him to get back first. And we're building this up just so we can make some ships. Make some naval XP. As you see to Mexicano. Now, we might not do well against them, though. Oh, wait. Raiders of the North. Um, that just seems like one for Broken Coast. And... Three days left. Good. Oh, they attack us, too. I guess some of our divisions, you know, they're very tiny, not very good. We have CNC robots, though. Yeah, we have no money. Because then after this, we can probably go to war with these guys and try to get some money then. Yeah. To lock defense protocols. To lock provided all of his subroutines with defense protocols, but they were corrupted during his death. With sufficient reformatting, they can unlock the ability to use them. Arm the humans. The men and women of Mexico, uh, oh, look at this. You want to read this, please, go ahead. Uh, are the, one of the AI's most important resources. In the grim, dark future, where there is only war, lasers are hard to build, but you can always make more humans. Very true. Clemation authority, very nice. I'll uh, come over here. We want to get everything done over here as fast as we possibly can. And it looks like it's already done. Nice. So we're going to come over here and start getting daily army XP. Oh, 50. Nice. Uh, we could use special forces, but we're going to go with hardline robots. Just a crap ton of robots. Get over there fast. There you go. And break over the river fast. Recognize the Veeps. Kalox lands contain a hereditary elite known as the Veeps. Many of them are looking for stability and confirmation of their status in the time since his death. We can provide that in exchange for the services. Absolutely. And yeah, we're just going to get just do all these anyways fast. So we have to do them later. Of course, we should probably focus on planes too, but whatever. Um, since you're here, I want to do that. I can do that. Come on. I can do that. Get from above, a dry wasteland once more. You know, you just get across there. There you go. There you go. The refinery. Keep him in place. Honestly, just gonna combine them. Do that, do that. Nice. As long as they're not moving, we'll, we'll be okay against them. Nah, eh, we're not gonna really use them either. Cool. Age Republic. Also, we're on a historical as well, just to let you know. I'll say go Petro Chico. Standing army, nice. Daily army makes me good too, and we got him. Beautiful. Ok. 
Cool. We're close to 60% world tension, so we just get to save up our caps, or put a power should really save for that. But we're going on Aerospeed too. Not a lot, but it's something. Oh, we could raid the revised royalty? Sure, why not? Basic training, we don't have enough 100, which sucks. That's fine. So we'll do that, and Repcon testing. Oh, generic. Okay. Human sacrifices. Well, we do want this one too. More attack would be nice. <clears throat> the Polkteka. The Aztec Empire honored merchants for bringing Quetzal feathers. Jade and dyed cons of the markets to Nochtelin. Although Makazuma has no need for such strippers, he can still reward the merchants who strengthen the empire. The Polchteka Nalos Tomeka. Merchants were not just valued in the empire for the wealth they brought, they also served as spies for the foreign conquests. The most notorious spies were the Polchteka Nalos Tomeka, or disguised merchants. A visit from them was once a prelude to conquests as they mapped the best routes in enemy cities. Perhaps it'll begin in the Ocelot. Ocelotl, yeah. Challenge for raid, nice. The Jaguar Warriors will command robot armies in battle, identifiable by the powered armor. All Jaguar, all Jaguar Warriors must have killed at least five enemy soldiers before they can claim the title. Also, we'll keep going on. Uh, we did build this up too, so. Quite a bit of army XP, ain't it? I'm targeting, nice. Baseball palms, good. Get all these things done. Victory in the flower war. These fall the hearts. Yay! It's a little ahead of time, so let's not do that one. Let's do this one, which we don't really need. Robots, we're gonna come down here and get more political power. Or research speed, I guess, first. There you go. Do we raid someone else now? Nueva Aztlan. We could try it. In the meantime, we're gonna use these guys and throw in some robots. We're out. Okay, man, yeah, that's pretty normal. We're usually out of stuff anyways. Fine, we'll make less. We'll have to deal with less. Hey, 68%. But we need to be at war for that one. So after this whole thing down here, we're going to try to... Uh, well, I guess, well, you know what? Just consolidate them. So we can make sure that at least all of our divisions will have equal footing. Or at least more strength. Because we're going to be fighting over a river, which is not good. That helped with max factories in a state, which would be nice. Um, there you go. This one too. Three days. Because I don't think they have empty tank yet, no. But we're fighting over a waterway, which is not good. Guadalajara. Oop. This game just found something. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, and... We could try it. Maybe. Oh, okay. Half ah, you have to go over here too. And just go and re-justify on these guys. Or start justifying. I guess we never justified on them in the first place. Go ahead. They're up on any special forces. Or at least it will be very soon. For arm XP though. Even if you don't win, you know it sucks if you don't win. Oh, maybe we got, maybe we'll win. Maybe we will. Oh. Oh yeah. I love it. That's nice. 7,000 manpower too. How much 
much money are we making? So I want to take these guys out too because we want El Foro. El Foro is really good to get because it's, it's one of the few trade that we actually can get to. Oh, it's just killing each other already. Oh. Over here, trade nodes. Dia de los Muertos. The trade node here, here, here. That's actually really nice for them. Good for them. Mentor service. Yeah. Democracy, we don't believe in that. Here and here. So we're pretty spread out from any sort of trade nodes. That's why we want El Foro. Oh. Brothers are striking out. Nice. Nice right, learning. Becoming desert fox, a hill fighter, a mountaineer, a jungle rat, a fortress buster. All the fantastic things. There we go. Every cap of the army. We lose money, but whatever. We're not going to lose money, but we get more stuff. Uh, makes sense. Especially go this one right now. You guys, just a little bit stronger. I want you to break for the coast. Go and break for it. Or the next coast over. There you go. Better organization? Or just more organization? You just can't get better organization. Organization is still just organization. We should start going to El Foro and Vigilia. That'd be good. Circle one right there. in place. You go here. We always been circled one division. Gliders are nice. Barrage balloons. Let's please start working on those guys. These guys are killing each other. I don't kill our brothers off yet. Oh. They could easily encircle us. It's going to be a good thing. There we go, we got him. And we got a little bit of a navy. Not sure if it's going to be a good navy. But that's alright. Oh, that's good to have. And uh, got enough command power for this one. And you are what? A blood leader is going to be covering faster. I want to take these guys out too, but I don't think we can take out the Chichen Itza, can we? They've got quite a navy, and we've like nine divisions. Hmm. There's our light cruiser. Fine. Hmm. It looks like we're stuck for a little bit for now. That's good, at least. Let's grab... I think that really matters too much. Honestly, no. Robot manufacturer. Research speed. But we don't really need more research speed. Ship designer. Uh, we're doing air stuff, so we might as well do that. So, uh, how about after this one? We're going to do all these. Crush Atzlan. Those, those fools claim the title of our sacred homeland. Of the seven caves from which the Aztec came, Moctezuma will make them uh, pay. Rebuild the roads. Much of Mexico's infrastructure is laid in ruin since the Great War, and conditions were only worse than after Tlaloc's death. It'd be logical to fix them. Industrial development. Excan Tlaloyan will never defeat the other children of Tlaloc without a sufficient industrial base. Let's fix that. Fuel for the fight. An army marches on his stomach, but runs on its fuel. Construct new armories. Excan Tlaloyan must build more weapons uh, if it is to prevail. Please report to your nearest work assignment factory or facility. Lighting adjustments. A robot army will require energy to uh, power its machines. If Excan Yoyan has the plants, then have the power. Process foodstuffs. We're going to industrialize food processing, develop food supplies of the waste traditionally refrain from, although the taste varies from person to person, and develop high technology. The primitives of the waste can barely build firearms, let alone our flawless robots. We can leverage our industrial capacity to go one step further. And so now here we're at. Our brother, Maximilian, has gone to war with us, and it has actually been not very good for us. But we've got some focuses to read. Electronics workshops. Through careful work, we can rebuild electronic workshops to build Excan Flatoyan's war machines. Human engineers. Or engineering. Humans may not be part smart as Excan Flatoyan, but they can try so hard as cute. Here are a few tricks we can learn. Develop the mines. Uh, reluctant decline to open power war mines, concluding that there was insufficient market demand due to business conditions in the United States. But our war machines prove of a thriving domestic market. R construction robots. All of Excan Tlaloyan's work to develop its economies demanded the use of construction robots. Turns out they're also great war machines. Um, Karasha Atzlan. 
Those fools claim that the title of our sacred homeland of the seven caves from which Aztec came. Magzuma will make him pay. Appoint Tlatoani. The Aztec Empire ruled through the speakers for our subject people. We can appoint a series of Tlalotani for the towns we conquer and who will answer directly to Moctezuma, if they know what's good for them. Appoint the Sihualcotl. The Aztec Empire's chief legal scholar was the Sihualcotl, who was appointed by the Emperor, but was the final authority on all matters. Promising Moctezuma's subjects law by some other than an AI may reassure them. Create the Quapili. Quapili. Not everyone can be a noble or serf, for merchants, craftsmen, and soldiers of note. We can create the non hereditary title of Qualpili, and then we did a human sacrifice. Makazuma does not believe that the world is sustained through the sacrifice of human blood, but a bloody pageant of buying the Mexico together, 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 will be useful. So have a heart. Unlock Tlaloc's garages. Take to the skies. Will Tlaloc on us to for us to reclaim the skies from upstart humans? But high in robots, which I should have done earlier. Tlaloc led his children to play only as more primitive robots, trusting none of them to fully manage Mexico. But he's not around anymore, is he? Pre war robots. Luck had access to some of pre-war America's greatest robots, so do we know as well. As you can see, they're trying to beat the crap out of us. We've lost about 400 uh, soldiers. We have only 17 div uh, divisions. They have up to 46, and they've lost 4,300, which is kind of insane. But I'll be honest, I did have used cons commands for this because my guide is kind of insane with what they're doing. Uh, we're going to go with that one next. So, uh, build high-end robots. That'd be great. I'll sacrifice the Atzalan leader. The Atzalan are no more. We're one of the leading powers of Mexico. Let us demonstrate. Rebuild Tenochtitlan. Now that Moctezuma controls our ancient capital, he can rebuild its pre-war glory. Said war being the Spanish conquest. Eventually the Brothers' War. With the Atzalan defeated, some would consider the nations who could rival Mexico's greatness. The other sons of Tlaloc. So they're going to be attacking us like crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Which is kind of insane. So we're going to spend... I'm going to spend a lot of time off-screen just doing this anyways. Um, so we read all that. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. We have the human sacrifices, though. Fruits for the gods. Mock offering to war god. Which is not really good. You get more attack, but you lose weekly war support, which is 4%, which I don't like. Offering, um, Quetzalcoatl. You lose, you get some stability, but you lose the stability. So basically, you lose 100 manpower, you lose 50 political power, and in the end, you really only get 1% more stability. Eh. And then offering rabbits. So you lose 100 manpower, but you get minus 5% consumer goods, which is actually not bad. For 100 manpower and 50 political power, I think that's worth it overall. But, uh, I think I'm going to end it there, just because I'm going to spend a lot of time just making sure we just grind them off screen. It's just going to pump up our army XP, and we actually have a few planes here, but we don't have enough uh, air bases at the front. Uh, we'll do that, and then we just, need, we just need to build more. We just have enough divisions. So. Regardless, if you enjoyed the first it's kind of short episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also try to push and try to conquer as much Mexico as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.